We have an ASUS Q200e touchscreen laptop with a broken touchscreen. The touchscreen models differ from the conventional laptops as they have two screens. On this particular model, the display screen is OK, but the outer touch glass has cracked. Before you tackle this project, invest in a screwdriver set which includes an assortment of Phillips, flathead, and Torx. Make sure it includes an assortment of plastic prying tools. It's a good idea to have a camera handy and take lots of pictures to ensure you get the fasteners and cables back in the correct location. We start by flipping the computer over and removing the base plate screws. Place your fingers at the base of the hinge and gently lift up. With the plate removed, the components are easily identified. The hard drive is on the top left. CPU and fan assembly are on the top right. Wi-Fi card is on the lower left and the battery is at the bottom. Remove the battery connection. Place your fingernails or two of the plastic prying tools under each side of the plug and gently lift up. Flip the computer over and hold the power button for 20 seconds. The hard drive, Wi-Fi card, and the left-hand USB control board must be removed to access the touchscreen cable. Remove the screws from the hard drive. Slide it to the left and lift out. Remove the screws from the Wi-Fi card and dislodge. The card does not have to be removed. Remove the screws from the control board in the top left corner. To dislodge the card, place your fingernails or use two of the plastic prying tools under the top right hand corner and gently lift up. Be careful as there are alignment pins on the left hand side of the card. Lift the board out and again go slowly so you don't damage the card or the alignment pins. Remove the two plugs from the control board. The white plug on the right is for the touchscreen. Remove the touchscreen cable. Note how the cable is rooted through the hinge area. To remove the screen, select the plastic brine tool from the kit. Begin at the top of the screen between the corner and the camera. Keep away from the camera area with any prying tool. Work your way around the top. The sides may be a little tricky as there are clips that must be dislodged. To remove the screen from the deck, gently pry up around the hinges. Feed the cable through the hinge and remove the screen. Assemble the screen in the reverse order. Remember, be careful when installing the control board to align on the alignment pins. Note, there is no screw installed in the bottom left-hand corner. Thank you for viewing this presentation.